Alberta's Premier Danielle Smith there commenting during her meeting with the Prime Minister just this week uh, that up for discussion was LNG and natural gas and expanding the production and export of that. She said just a few minutes ago, actually speaking to reporters, that she received some positive signs from the Prime Minister on that. The discussion around LNG and the potential for exporting more of it has changed, certainly due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Europe's uh, now realized dependence on Russia for that gas and backing away from it. I want to bring in my next guest to talk a little bit about the Canadian context here. Uh, Bjorn Inga Tunnison is the uh, the board, uh, Quest Air's rather, Quest Air Energy's board of directors chair. He's with me live here in Ottawa. Mr. Tennyson, pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for making the time. Yo, thank you for having me here. I know your company holds the rights to um, a large deposit of natural gas in Quebec specifically. And I wanted to ask you, though the wider context, the discussion around LNG certainly has changed during this war, Quebec has taken a different path. They've, they've actually banned new oil and gas projects. Do you have any optimism that will change? I think when you see uh, with the Russian invasion in Ukraine, the energy security situation in Europe in particular has changed a lot. And the equation now to how to handle that situation in Europe has increased the demand. And I think there is a business case for Canada and Quebec to supply that energy to Europe. So they can assist them of coming over this uh, energy crisis they experience now in Europe. Because that will last for long and they, they need external supplies. And LNG from uh, Quebec is a very good solution. So, so uh, again, though, I'll, I'll put to you, I understand your perspective and certainly I've heard it from others. I, in fact, I interviewed uh, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz who said if Canada could provide the LNG, he would take it and certainly uh, Quebec is is one kind of portal to Europe, and a simpler one than than from out west. You you talk about a business case. The prime minister has continually highlighted that that there needs to be a business case, and that he has yet to see one. How do you make that business case when Quebec has essentially outlawed the development of gas projects? Well, we do understand from the from several you know authorities in Quebec that there may be a room to look at this with new eyes because it is another situation when, than when the, this law was uh, put in place. So we think there is an opening and this is a very large gas discovery that has the potential to supply with large volumes to Europe. So there is a business case if, if the Quebec government would allow this to go f forward. And when you say you've seen some signs that their eyes may be, kind of be, be uh, open to something different than what they've done before, what, what are those signs? They haven't been too public facing about them. Well, we know that I've been the Minister of Finance without uh, explaining that, okay, we understand that there is, uh, the, you know, the, the scene out there on energy is different now than it was. So there are these signs, uh, and we've had conversations with the uh, uh, with the Quebec government just to, to explain what the project is about. And uh, of course, you know, and we are there to assist on this uh, project to move it forward so it could actually happen. So I think there are you know, not straightforward uh, uh, statements that they would like to see it, but that it, it is a possibility they could look upon it with new eyes. The other thing the federal government has cited as an impediment to increasing or being able to address the crisis in Europe specifically or, or what's happened with Russia and Ukraine is timelines, right? That even if they gave the go-ahead, this isn't something that would turn around overnight and have the ability to address the sort of immediacy of the crisis. What would you say to that? No, well, <clears throat> it, of course, there is a timeline to develop uh, energy projects, but this would one would be one of the quicker ones to solve or supply Europe. And we say there is already a uh, existing federal export permit for LNG in a small scale from uh, Becancourt Court uh, up to the St. Lawrence River. And, uh, you know, if we get all the decisions and all stars are aligned, we could have 
LNG exported to uh, Europe within two years after that final investment decision. So, you know, of course, it, is, it will not solve this winter, will not solve next winter, but there are more winters to come. And then the Europeans need to get more independent of of, you know, we need to have more resources of gas. And we have been talking to uh, several European missions here in Canada to see, you know, that we are right in our uh, view of that they need it. And they confirm this. They are in dire needs for new supplies. And uh, uh, there are more and more LNG terminals being built quickly in around the North Sea to supply Europe with, which have access to the sea, but also okay. more in land. Okay, Mr. Tennyson, I have to leave it there. I'm out of time. Thank you very much uh, for joining us this evening. I appreciate it. Uh, by, uh, Thank you. Bjorn, rather, Inga Tennyson is uh, Questair Energy's Board of Directors Chair. Thank you, sir.